for being here. Today, we redefine performance with the all new 2026 Honda V3R 900 E Compressor. What is up, Moto Freak family? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, you know what week it is. It's EICMA 2025, and the bombs are already dropping. If you thought you knew what Honda was bringing to the party, think again. Forget the rumors you've heard, because Big Red just pulled the cover off something insane. This is the Honda V3R 900 E Compressor. And trust me, that E is the most important letter here. This isn't just a new bike, it's a whole new engine technology. So, let's break this beast down. What are we looking at? At its heart, it's a 900 cubic centimeter, 75 degree V3 engine. Yeah, V3, already cool, already different. We saw a concept of this V3 layout last year, but now it's confirmed at 900 cubic centimeters, and it has a massive secret weapon. It's called the E-Compressor. Now, your brain might go to turbo or supercharger, right? Well, it's kind of like a supercharger, but way smarter. A normal supercharger is driven by a belt from the engine. A turbo is spun by exhaust gas. This E-Compressor is driven by its own electric motor, why is that a game changer? Two words, no lag. Because it's electric, the bike's brain can spin it up instantly, anytime. It doesn't need to wait for exhaust pressure or engine revs to build. The result? Honda says you get instant real-time boost management. They're basically eliminating lag and giving you perfect torque, especially at low RPMs. And here's the killer stat. Honda is claiming this 900 cubic centimeter V3 with the E-Compressor delivers performance comparable to a 1,200 cubic centimeter engine. Let that sink in. You get the power of a 1,200, but with the weight, agility, and efficiency of a 900, you get massive power and better emissions. Honda's trying to have its cake and eat it too, and they might have just done it. Of course, it's a concept, so Honda is calling it a prototype and a test platform. But just look at it. The design is aggressive. It's got these asymmetrical side fairings, a super compact chassis. It looks lean, it looks mean, and it looks, honestly, pretty close to finished. And get this, look at the tank. That's the new Honda flagship wing emblem. Honda confirmed this is the new logo that will be on all their top tier flagship bikes starting from 2026. So they put the 2026 flagship logo on this prototype. Coincidence? I think not. This bike is the future. This is the direction. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. This is huge news.